we're here, we're gonna demo something very, very simple. Um, it's gonna be a stuffed French toast, and we're gonna stuff it with bananas, but the important thing is, is we're talking about friends and families and gathering around food, especially children and nutrition. The best thing you can do with your child actually is to cook with them. Or her, right? In this case, my little boy Thatcher, who has a microphone on too. Are you gonna talk and say hi? Hi. Or are you just gonna eat grapes? <laughs> the, the other important thing is that we've noticed is that when we're cooking together is that we have a snack that he can eat while we're cooking. Uh, so we have some little grapes here too. So a um, couple of things. One, you know, we're going to make a stuffed French toast. So we're going to start off with a challah bread that, uh, that actually is unsliced. So we have that already ready to go. And also, just because we don't want to just have stuffed French toast and bananas, we're going to do a toasted almond and maple syrup. Uh, we also have an array of berries here that we can also finish with some fresh berries. Can I, can I get my knife? Yeah, we'll in a second. And then also, yeah, on, on your cutting board? Okay, there you go. Right he is trained. Like he does understand how to use that. So, um, we also are going to make a yogurt uh, foam that we're going to finish over the French toast. And we're going to be using a, uh, a whipped cream canister to do that. At home, though, if you don't have one of these, you can simply just whip some creme fraiche and some yogurt and pull it together. It's really, really easy. So first steps is we need to find some good bananas. We have some bananas here. And we're going to heat a pan. And Thatcher, I'm going to let you cut some bananas in the shapes that you want. And we'll use it to stuff the toast. OK, very careful with that. Now, how do you hold your knife with your fingers? How do you hold a, how do you hold a banana? There you go. Good job. Let's cut some slices. That's good. Give me three more. OK, now I'll take over. So I let him do a first few cuts. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. I'm not using my knife. Um, so I let, I'll let him take a few cuts. Let me have that. Put that down. And he's very territorial when he's cooking. I don't know if you notice that or not. <laughs> and he eats as he goes. So we need a few bananas. We're going to start a pan with some brown butter over medium heat. No, I'll cut that one. Okay, you can cut the rest of this. Be very careful, okay? Hold it proper. Hold it properly. Okay. All right, now I'll take over. And I'll do the last few cuts. Thank you. All right, don't drop all the bananas. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna start with a little bit of butter in the pan, and we're gonna bring the butter what we call brown butter. That's gonna enable us to add just a, a little bit of sugar just to caramelize it. We just wanna put a light caramel on the bananas, not too much sugar because little one goes crazy if he has too much sugar, and that's not too healthy either. So, how are we doing so far, Thatcher? Good? Okay, so while we're letting the uh, butter start to brown, we're gonna cut our bread. And it's, it's best that you get bread that's uh, a day old if you're making French toast. Um, I know, I'll keep it right here, but you don't need it right this second. <laughs> okay, um, day old bread works better when you're making something like a French toast uh, because it actually once it starts to stale out, it'll absorb more of the uh, custard when it's time to make the toast itself. Don't eat all the bananas, we need some of those. Like this, so we're gonna cut a couple of nice slices of the bread. We'll set that aside. And we're gonna use these to stuff, to make our French toast. We will, I'll wipe that off. Okay, it looks like the butter is almost starting to brown. With the wind, it takes a little bit longer for the butter to, to heat up, obviously, because the flame is a little bit lower. So just give that a few more seconds. So while we're letting that happen, we also we need to make a custard. Custards are very easy to make. What's up? Baby. Yeah, so you hear a baby crying? <laughs> All right, hang on. <laughs> is that your sister? Is that your sister crying? Because she's over in the corner. She was. She's right there, right? Oh, it's that one over there? All right. <laughs> so we need six eggs. Don't eat all the bananas, we won't have anything left. So um, 
you know, one thing I was talking about earlier, is start, people started to walk up. You know, nutrition uh, in children is, is obviously a very important topic. Um, it does start at home. It starts with, you know, not only introducing foods to your children, but also, you know, cooking with them. If you get them excited about food in your own kitchen, then obviously they're going to start to eat ingredients that uh, you're striving for them to eat, like fresh fruits and whole vegetables, um, ingredients that are really important to their diet. Uh, Thatcher yet to eat a carrot, but yet loves to peel carrots, right? You like to peel carrots, but you don't like to eat carrots yet, right? And I cut them. And you cut them. When parents are holding your hands, yes. <laughs> you can speak into that. So we encourage, you know, at home, we encourage that he does help us cook. And so it introduces him to new foods all the time. Um, so as you see here now, I mean, he's, he's really comfortable working in the kitchen as you should, you know, with your own children at home. Um, we find that it's, it's important and easy way to actually get them excited about food. We have this saying, so at home, like, you know, as, as parents and chefs, you know, for at least in my family, you know, it, it's, it's good that we, um, we do cook with our children because we become sort of like heroes in our kitchens. And so we're able to introduce them to new things. <laughs> All right. So it looks like the butter has started to brown a little bit. And we're gonna add our banana slices. Don't eat all the bananas. <laughs> I need some. All right. Now I need to get another one. All right. Put that down for a second. What's that? I will. Okay. No, not that one. I said that one. I will use this one then. Yes, sir. He's very bossy in the kitchen. You want to wipe that off? Yeah, I'm going to slice a few like this, okay? No, I'm going to put these in the pan just like that. Is that okay? I'll try some this way too. All right, good job. Okay, so to finish this custard, we have our bread ready to go. Well, we leave the bread like this. We're going to stuff it with bananas soon. In a second. We're going to add a little bit of milk to it. <laughs> and you're going to eat that bread. And we're also going to add a vanilla bean. Don't use this. Yeah, but you got to smell this. You like vanilla, right? So we'll put about a half a bean inside the custard. And then we'll let Thatcher play with the pod. Smell that. It smells good, doesn't it? Yeah. You like vanilla, right? Yeah. Have you ever seen vanilla like that? That's how you make vanilla ice cream. You use that bean. All right, careful with this. I'm going to put this right here. You want you got to hold up your uh, microphone a little bit more, buddy. So I'm having a little bit of agave nectar to this too, to sweeten it. And some cinnamon. So uh, who cooks for their children at home? Do you find it challenging or you find it fun? Challenging. <laughs> but, but, but why, do you let them, do you let them get involved? Sometimes, yeah. Baking or uh, or savory. I need you, you. need to put this down while we're doing this. Yeah. You got a lot. <laughs> so I mean, we found it's also it's a really good time to obviously get the family together. You know, to find something where kids can actually work with their hands. Um, you no, know, Play-Doh, I, I, I don't know exactly how it was invented, but my thought is, is it was invented because people were playing with dough at home, and then they're looking for somebody caught on to that, and then they started coloring it and giving it out to kids in cans. So why not go back to the old way of actually making dough, make some bread, make a pizza, um, make cookies, you know, things that they actually touch and feel and play with, and, and do that at home as a family. It's a lot of fun, right? 
You want some bread. Are you hungry? Well, we're gonna make French toast. All right, check, let's check our uh, bananas. I think our flame keeps going out. It's going, it's a little low. It's a little low. So we're gonna add, how are the grapes? So I'm just gonna sprinkle just a little bit of sugar over the bananas and help to caramelize them. What's that? What's that? Go ahead, you can say something to them. Go ahead, hold that up. You can talk now. Go ahead, you can say that. Say it again. They didn't hear you. Say it one more time, they didn't hear you. <laughs> Some famous words of advice. <laughs> too much candy, you'll get too sick. So, bananas are now starting to brown a little bit. I didn't even realize I had my glasses on. Sorry. <laughs> I was more concerned because he had a knife in front of him. I wasn't paying attention. You did, I know. You're pretty good. I think you need to take a break though on a knife. You're scaring me now. You're good with it though. You do a good job. Okay. All right, we're gonna play the waiting game just a couple more seconds. They're almost brown. You paying attention? You see what's going on there? Okay. In the meantime, while they're browning, we'll start the, uh, the aerated uh, yogurt that we're gonna use to finish the dish with. So we'll get one more bowl. So I have ingredients all over the place now. They're doing good? Okay, yeah, they're getting brown. You paying attention to them? Keep an eye on those and let me know. So we're gonna start with about two cups of uh, yogurt and it seems like a lot but you can use this preparation on you know fresh berries after you're done for maybe a dessert later on um, it definitely will stay inside the canister for a couple of days we like to use it go ahead over ice cream a little bit of bread yes you can have a little bit of bread about a cup of creme fraiche that's lots? Yeah, it is. And we're gonna add a little cinnamon to it. Yeah, I'm not adding any sugar or anything to this. I mean, typically if you're making like a whipped cream, you would add, you know, powdered sugar or something like that to it. You wanna whip it? Okay, go ahead. It's naturally sweet to creme fraiche, so there's enough sweetness there, plus with the maple syrup and everything that's going on, it doesn't make sense to add more sugar to the dish. So we just add a little cinnamon just for some spice. How's that smell? How's that smell, buddy? Smell good? Good? Good to go? So we're gonna put it in here. Try not to make a mess. Yeah, I'm squirting it. Oh, you're not gonna squirt it. <laughs> Oh, I made a little bit of a mess. The wind blew you know on me. What I'm doing. Oh, sorry. I know what I'm doing. You do? In, here. in there? No, not in there. We're gonna use it to finish the plate. Can I have the lid. What's that? You want to help? Okay. This part I'll do. This requires an adult. So these things work very easily. Just place a whipped cream charger on. We'll charge it once and then shake it vigorously. And we'll add one more. What's that? Here.
And we got our uh, yogurt foam that we'll use to finish the French toast once we're done. And you could try it. You could try that. That's fine. There we go. Now our bananas are nice and brown. You're going to need more grapes. Run rolled out. All right, you ready? Can everybody see where I'm working right here? Here, we'll place this over here. We're gonna we're gonna stuff our uh, French toast first. Okay. No, 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 no. Careful. We we will. So first, we're gonna take our bananas off. And normally you'd let these cool down for a few minutes, but we're just gonna go ahead and stuff them. So in your bread, just find a nice flat spot. And we're gonna cut an incision about halfway into the bread. <laughs> it's raining on us, huh? <laughs> You can eat that. So insert the bananas into the uh, bread. We'll use these. Here, you need to help do this. This is your this is your thing. You know how to do that. There you go. Yeah, they're still a little hot. Yeah, normally you let them cool down. I know. Put a few more in. No, we're not gonna put the. Do you want the grape in there too? Yeah. Grape stuffed French toast? You put a green thing in there. It sounds like fun. You put a green thing in there with, with a grape. A grape? Mm -hmm. That's, yeah. And what I've found that sometimes you can find new flavor combinations of grape and uh, banana stuffed French toast when you work with kids. It's fun. Dad, have my little money. There we go. What's that? No, you can't. Okay, we're done with the knife. We'll cut that in a second. I'm gonna put this right here, okay? Now we're gonna make the French toast. You ready? Wait, 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 wait. We gotta dip it in the egg first, into the batter. Throw it in there. You drop them in and then I'll place them on, okay? So just dip the egg gener I mean the egg, the bread, the bread generously into the custard. And then we're going to place it onto the panini press. Careful. Yeah, I know. And not a lot of people know that you can actually use a panini press to make breakfast. Stop with this. Um, we'll cut in a second. We're going to cut the French toast in a second. Um, but it's actually a versatile tool in the kitchen. Um, actually works really well. You can use it all day. Bre breakfast, lunch, and dinner, you can use something like this. Very inexpensive to, to buy one of these, but also very simple to make something like this. You got it? Good job. Is he doing a good job? He's doing a good job, right? He's very patient. He's been out here since 9 in the morning, and he's been having a lot of fun. And uh, he's been excited all day to come over here and cook. Haven't you? So while that's cooking, we're going to do one last step. We have to make our syrup, right? How are we going to do that? You want, you want another piece of bread? We'll cut one in a second, but we have to toast our almonds. We're going to make some syrup first, OK? All right. Um, you do need to add a little bit of butter. I, it's not burning. It's cooking. Oh, it's working. Yes, it is working. I thought you said it was burning. <laughs> um, I try to limit the amount of butter we use, but hey, how are you? Good to see you. Um, but we, we do need to put a little bit of uh, butter into the pan just to start toasting the almonds, and it actually adds a great amount of flavor. As long as you cook with butter in moderation, it's okay. It should still be included in your, in your pantry in the kitchen. Obviously, when you cook healthy, it's just use in moderation, and that's, that's a key, key word for that. So. 
We're gonna add a good generous amount of almonds. And we'll let those brown real nice in the pan, real slow. What's that? Yes, you wanna talk again? Go ahead. Go ahead, say it. It's really important. Go ahead. Good job. <laughs> You're wiping on your jacket. <laughs> okay, so we're going to let those brown. What, you want the bread again? Okay, we're done with the knife till the next demo. Okay? You want to stir? And check our toast. Oh, it's getting nice and brown, huh? Right. Does anybody have any questions this far? Or anything uh, in regards to this? Um, you know, again, I know there's some of us just joined. I mean, I am just making a simple stuffed French toast. Uh, but what I, we wanted to encourage is that working together with your children at home is really, really important to introduce new foods, uh, to actually make them a part of preparing the meal f uh, as a family. Um, and for us, it's a lot of fun. I get him to enter he still doesn't like carrots, as I was saying earlier, but he loves peeling them. He loves peeling potatoes. He loves peeling apples. But you like eating apples, though, right? Yeah. Good. All right, so we're making up. Good? You're going to bite my shirt. So what we have in here right now is a banana stuffed French toast. Uh, we're working a uh, toasted almond maple syrup, and Thatcher's trying to rip my jacket off. <laughs> you having fun? And uh, we're going to be finishing it with a whipped yogurt with uh, cinnamon over the top. Do you have any other words of advice? No? Is your face cool? Face is painted. It's pretty cool looking. All right. So the almonds are nice and toasted now, so we're going to add a little maple syrup to it. You want to help? Okay. Come on over. All right, good job. That should be enough. Do you want some, you want, you want some uh, strawberries in there too? You can cut some strawberries. So we're, we're going to add some strawberries for Thatcher's direction. And we can add that right to the syrup too. Here, I'll help you. I'll hold and you cut. I'll hold and you cut. I'll hold and you cut. Oh, good. There you go. We're going to cut slices of uh, I Please, you need to. Let me have it. Just watch. I know you know how, but you need to watch me, okay? Really simple, all right? Yeah, so I'll wipe it off when you're done. So I'll give this back to you after we get the strawberries done. Enough of me. I want you guys to check these guys out. Gather around the mat. He sounds like a cowboy. <laughs> Does he? All right, I'm going to let that sit right there, okay? Okay, let go of the knife. All right, how's our French toast look? Good job. Just about ready, right? Just a couple more seconds and our toast will be ready. Wipe that off, and that's good. Now let me have that back. I'll put it on your side, but you're done. We're about ready to plate, okay? You ready? You ready for the big unveiling? We gotta plate the dish now. Are you ready? Okay. So in the syrup, um, it, it's good to take. You want a piece? Here, you like the bread? There you go. Okay, there you go. All right. So um, I like taking syrup at home and then actually adding other ingredients to it. In this case, we added strawberries and we added some toasted almond. I let it evaporate a little too much, so I'm just going to add a little bit more. And we'll just turn that off. And our toast is just about ready. Yeah, looks good. Okay. You ready? Ready to finish the dish? What we'll do is we'll cut these in little fingers.
gonna try this when we're done. So I'm being fancy, you don't have to trim it. We, use, we eat these while we're going though. You just take these and dip it right in the syrup. That's what the cooks get, right? This is for mommy for breakfast in bed, right? Yeah. There you go. All right, and we'll finish it with the uh, whipped yogurt. Just a couple of dollops over the top. You want to do some? You have to be careful. So we have Thatcher's. Uh, oh, hey. <laughs> this is uh, Thatcher's banana stuffed uh, French toast. <laughs> Thatcher's banana stuffed French toast with uh, toasted almonds, strawberries, and a whipped yogurt with cinnamon. That's it. Good job, buddy. Good job, give me five. Can you try it? What's that? Yeah, okay. Well, thank you very much. It was a lot of fun, uh, obviously, cooking with, with Thatcher, my son. Um, you know, and to be out here today and enjoying the day. So everybody have a great day today. Um, again, very simple, you know, go home, cook with your family, cook with your kids, show them, uh, you know, great nutrition. It's a lot of fun to, to play with your food in your kitchen at home. Uh, get dirty, let them make a mess. It's okay. You can clean it up afterwards. It's not a big deal. Have fun today. Have a great day. Thank you.